when did you fall in love with hip hop? When I heard Kango Crew and Get Fresh Crew. Well, I don't think you understood the question, so I'm asking you again. Say, when did you fall in love with hip hop? Brown sugar, babe. I guess high up your love. I don't know I how to be here. Brown sugar. And welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Kyra. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe right now, okay? I'm not playing with you. I just got came home from a cycle bar and I'm looking a little scruffy. That class was so good. But anyways, it's Saturday and we gotta get ready for tonight, okay? We're about to hop in the shower and before we get started, I need to shout out Sephora for sponsoring this video. If you don't shop at Sephora, girl, you're living under a rock, okay? This is a exciting time right now because the Sephora savings event is finally here. This is the time to stock up or if you've been having your eye on something and you wanted to try some new things from Sephora, the time is now to shop. And everything that I show y'all in this video will be linked down below. And the savings event starts April 14th and it depends on which tier you are. And if you aren't a part of the Sephora Beauty Insider program, it's never too late, okay? And you'll be able to sign up down below. There'll be a link and there's three tiers, Rouge members, VIB members, and then there's also Insider. Yeah, girl, what are you waiting for? So the Sephora savings event starts April 14th and if you are a Rouge member you get to start shopping early girl from April 14th to the 24th you get 20% off and you can use it as many times as you want okay online and in store and if you are a VIP member you get to start shopping the savings event April 18th to the 24th for 15% off your order and then if you are an insider you get to start shopping the savings event April 18th to the 24th for 10% off as many times as you want to and if you're shopping the savings event online all you need to do is use this promo code save now no matter which tier you are and throughout the whole Sephora savings event the Sephora collection will be 30 percent off make sure you don't miss out on the Sephora savings event like I said all my links to my suggestions and everything that I show you in this video will be linked down below and please do not forget to sign up to be a Sephora beauty insider I'm about to hop in the shower and if you know me you already know way is my ish and they just came out with the saint bart's body cleanser and they also came out with the body cream which we'll get into that when we get into the body routine but i'm about to hop in the shower and this duo right here you need for the summertime i go through the body scrub like it's nobody's business so i'm definitely going to be stocking up on this because i just want it always in rotation for my shower routine especially i know i'm going to be in the sun most of the time this summer so i really just want to keep exfoliating my skin make sure you get a hold of this it smells like the beach it smells like if you were just laying out in the sun all day like coconut vacation yeah yeah and they also have this in a mini size as well so you'll be able to take it on vacation with you girl i'm about to hop in the shower and i'll see y'all once i get out shower and y'all can get this cap from Sephora as well it's like a sleeping cap but it has satin in the inside and y'all know satin is really good for your hair so I just have my hair marinating because I got a hair appointment today yeah we stepping out we stepping out <laughs> so I definitely got to make sure my skin is on point so I'm about to do a exfoliating mask this is by Shawnee Darden she's a black esthetician if you don't know now you know and I'm probably gonna pick up her retinol that a lot of people rave about during the Sephora savings event this is her triple acid exfoliating peel solution so this is gonna be my first time trying this out because I've heard really good things about it there's so many good reviews it's supposed to immediately brighten your skin and then also resurface the skin this is a two-step treatment contains a powerful peel formulated with a blend of lactic acid glycolic acid and mandelic acid which are good for brightening the skin 
and yeah it helps brighten dark spots and instantly brightens your overall complexion so this is the first step to the peel and you're only supposed to leave it on no longer than two minutes it's gonna be a tingling sensation i love that this comes with a brush applicator love this so i'm definitely gonna be using this for my mask because it's so nice this is what it looks like i'm just gonna apply a thin layer of this all over my face oh it's tingly This is just basically an at-home peel. You can also apply this to your neck too. And, and this does tingle, so be aware. If you have any open cuts, I would not use this on top of that. But it's like a, a slight tingle and it goes away. So I'm going to let this dry for about one minute. I'm really putting it on the areas where I'm experiencing some breakouts. So now I'm gonna apply the neutralizing mask. It's gonna be my go-to mask. Well, it's gonna be my go-to exfoliating peel. Cause right now I'm not using the Dr. Dennis Gross peel pads right now. Um, I need to start back. But I feel like my skin, my skin isn't that congested for me to wanna do a AHA and BHA peel all the time. Um, maybe every other day, but not every day so yeah so this is what it looks like see you in 10. So let's get into skincare. I love going in with the High Roller by Topicals for ingrown hairs. It has so many good ingredients. And then for deodorant, I really been loving the Donna Karen Cashmere Mist. This smells like a grown adult baby. And I don't know what is in here, but it has helped so much with the color of my underarms. So let's get into body care, girl, because I'm looking ashy. So I love to go into Slather's Topicals Exfoliating Body Serum. Love this stuff. It has helped so much with hyperpigmentation around my body. And it's also hydrating as well, so it gives me a nice glow. Highly recommend this product. Obviously, y'all can see I was running low. Nine times out of ten, if you feel like you're missing something out of your body care routine, that's because you are. The Fenty Skin Butter Drop, baby. Talk about hydration. This has seven luxurious oils. I cannot rave about this product enough. It is so moisturizing to the body. I love this stuff. So make sure you grab this, especially for the summertime, girl. And to top everything off with a scent, I had definitely had to go in with the way St. Bart's, like I said, this smells like the beach. Definitely gonna be a staple for the summertime. So then I like to go in with the topicals like butter, body hydrating and soothing mist for dry, sensitive and eczema porn skin. I have a hard time reaching my back area, so I really like to spray this on my back. So my back is getting hydration as well, and also I like to apply this on my legs when I shave. Okay, y'all, so now we're gonna get into the makeup. I got my hair done, and this is everything that I've been doing recently. I just filled in my brows with the brow pen um, by Anastasia Beverly Hills, and everything, like I said, will be linked down below. 
So I'm gonna start off with, oh, and I apply my lashes too. Um, and I have on the Sephora Collection Essential False Lashes in the Fringe. Um, they come in the pink box and I cut these and then I place the thicker side on the ends and then the, uh, um, the front of the lash towards the, um, towards my inner corner because they are a little short. They're like cat eye, but I rather cut them and then space them out and then fill in the gaps. So first I'm going to go in with the Refi primer and I like this because it just glides on. And OMG, y'all. Y'all need to get that Shiny Dardeen um, peel. It has made my skin look so gorgeous, so nice, so bright. So, editing cover here. So, that peel actually made my breakouts um, go down even more. I don't know if you can tell by these clips. But, um, yeah, it was like hours after the peel was done. Um, so, like I said before, this is probably going to be my go-to peel mask um, until I go back to the Dr. Dennis Gross peel pads. I highly recommend those um, if you're somebody who's struggling with acne or trying to get an even skin tone, if you struggle with texture. Um, the bumps that you see on my lower half of my face uh, towards my jawline, those are hormonal bumps I have no idea how to get rid of those ever I shaved my face like a year ago and they appeared and they haven't gone down they'll go down but sometimes they'll flare up um randomly I think it's just hormonal imbalance um so yeah and they also become inflamed when I have um my menstrual cycle coming on so but yeah those are just hormonal that's just hormonal acne but the um, red spots that you've seen in the previous clips when I was applying the mask that was from a breakout I think it was from um, when I was getting my skin treatment and my skin was doing a plurge um, but yeah like I said the peel helped so much so highly recommend Shawnee Darden make sure you check out her skincare line y'all and she's black so yeah I can't wait to use it periodically throughout the week it just wow it exceeded my expectations yo highly recommend that product i'm gonna go in with the fenty beauty um eavesdrop in the number 13 and i just apply this like so first i'm gonna apply this anastasia color correct around my mouth area just to even out because sometimes I can look like I have a beard and I just like that to be a little lighter and then also under my eyes I'm gonna go ahead and blend out the Fenty For concealer I'm gonna go in with the closest concealer in color 05W and then I like to go in with the NARS um, biscuit radiant concealer I'm gonna let that sit and then I'm gonna go in with the Charlotte Tilbury contour wand and then place a couple dots where I want my contour. So then I'm going to apply this um, Born This Way Elythra Light Concealer. It's like an illuminating concealer and it's so bright. So I just only use it in the inner corner. And then while that is setting, I'm going to go in with the Rare Beauty Liquid Blush in the color Joy. And I directly put it on my skin.
To increase the contour, I'm going to go in with the Laguna 03 NARS bronzer and then just lightly tap. Before we even use any loose powder, I like to go in with a pressed powder first. So I'm going to go in with the Sephora Micro Smooth. Love this stuff. So good. Now I'm going to set my face with the translucent powder, translucent honey from Lord Mercier, and then the Huda Beauty cupcake. I like to mix the two together. Maybe tomorrow night or maybe Tuesday morning. I'm not sure. Okay, so I do my nose contour with a eyeshadow. This is the Makeup Forever uh, eyeshadow in M536. And when I tell y'all, it just snatches my nose. Sometimes I can go a little bit too overboard with the nose contour. But baby, I'm going to look like I can't breathe. So now I'm just going to let this sit for a little second. I'm going to just do my um, eyeshadow. And the wing lighter that I use is the Too Faced Better Than Sex. It's nice. It's easy for me to draw my um, wing. So I'm going to do that in a quick second. And it's just going to be a small natural wing. And we're gonna, I'm going to come back and we're going to wrap up. Do blush, highlight, lip, and then fragrance. Now for blush, I'm going to go in with the Patrick Ta She's Blushing. I love this color. I feel like this color will look so good on any single skin tone. I'm going to go on top of the blush and then just go in with the cream blush on top and then just go like so because I don't want to interrupt any makeup underneath, but I still want my skin to look like skin. I really like a bright under eye um, and I only go in the inner part, literally just right here. And this is the Givenchy Prism. Favorite step. Hey y'all, so I this is the finished look and it looks so good. And then for look, I just have the Refi in the color Sapia. And then I have the Sephora Collection Cream Lip Stain in the color. It's like the perfect nude. And then I topped it off with this YSL 
02. It's so glossy. Love this. And then for scent of the day, y'all, I smell so good right now. This is the Valentino Born in Roma. Ugh, smells so good. Oh my God. Oh, amazing that is it for my get ready with me i hope you guys enjoyed do not forget to like comment and subscribe and do not forget to shop the sephora savings event all the information will be down below in the description box and all everything that i use in this video will be linked down below and i love y'all so much and i'll see y'all next video bye <laughs>